it's Miss Christine. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you how to make sweet tortilla chips. It's a really fun recipe. You're gonna need sugar, cinnamon, butter, and tortillas. The tools you're gonna need are one large tablespoon, a half a tablespoon, a half a teaspoon, a pizza cutter or a knife and a brush for spreading on the butter and oh yes a baking sheet which you can butter or put parchment paper on and a cutting board oh and a little bowl well if there's anything else I forgot I'll tell you in a little bit <laughs> all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix up the cinnamon sugar so you'll need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon you either can tap it on the side to make it flat, or you can put a little knife over the top and push it out before it comes out of the, the glass jar. And put it in the bowl, I tap it. All right, now we're gonna need one and a half tablespoons of sugar. So you can level it right over the container if you have a big enough container. So you wanna make it level. So you make a little mountain, and then you level it. If there's a hole, push it back in. So that's one tablespoon. And then you need a half a tablespoon. And that's level, okay. So those are all the ingredients for cinnamon sugar. So now, oh, you can use the end of your measuring spoon to stir it up. See how it's mixing up? So when it's good and mixed, put it over to the side. Okay, next comes the butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt some butter. So you can look on the side of the butter and there are numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two tablespoons. So there's the first line. One, two. We're gonna cut right there on that line. We're gonna cut right through the paper. So just go. When I, well, you could saw it, right? You gotta push a little bit and then you gotta saw it. Or you can open it, peel it open and, and cut it. There. And then I'm gonna put mine in a little glass measuring jar. Or you can put in a little glass bowl. Bing. And now it's time to microwave. You're gonna microwave for 27 seconds. <laughs> oh, look, mine's done, and it got into a bowl. How'd I get in a bowl? I don't know. So now, put that aside. Oh wait, take it off the cutting board. Put a tortilla on top of the cutting board. And we're gonna paint it with the butter. Paint, paint, paint the tortilla, paint the tortilla together. So spread it all over your tortilla. Oops, it's moving around. And now, once you've got it all covered, it's time to cut. Now you can use a knife if you want, that works. Start from, and you're gonna cut it like a pizza. Cut it all the way across. Or you can use a really fun pizza cutter. So you're gonna, now I'm gonna make a cross. So it's, X marks the spot. Now I'm gonna make it into a pizza. So make triangles, here we go. Now I have to use my fingers to hold it in place. I can't even turn my cutting board. Cut, cut, cut. All right, now put the tortillas the tortilla wedges onto the, the the cookie sheet. Spread them out so they have their own space. Can you see that? It's like a puzzle, I'm trying to give them all their own space. You can do more than one tortilla at a time, but today, I'm, right now, I'm just doing one. Now that they're all on the pan, it's time to sprinkle them. Oh, you can't, sorry, you can't see it. Now we're gonna sprinkle them with the cinnamon sugar. So get your bowl of cinnamon sugar and then get a pinch or a big pinch and just let it snow all over your tortillas. And once you get it all covered and the oven is ready, it says 350, it's time to put them in the oven and you're gonna put them in for 10 minutes. All right, I think that's pretty good. You can cover 
cover your whole pan with more tortillas. All right, there, that looks pretty good. Now they're gonna go in the oven. TV, look, you're done. I actually cooked these before. So this is what they might turn out lo looking like. And But you cannot eat them till they are cool. All right, I'm gonna put them out to cool off. So thanks for joining me, bye.